Hi, this is Igor. What you're seeing is a new Resolve plugin from Metafied called Computer Vision. The retro VGA content in the intro video was generated using the plugin and composited in Resolve. The plugin is free and available at metafied.com. Let me show you how it works. When you install the Computer Vision plugin, it will be available in the edit page and fusion page. Let's go over the edit page use first. Here we have a short clip. And let's go to effects. You'll find it under toolbox, effects, fusion effects. Drag and drop. To adjust the settings, we'll open the inspector, go to the effects. And here we have a couple of simple controls. The font selection, bold, italic, and so forth. ASCII style determines the range of the characters we use. The first option is round, which gives you these kind of nice round characters. The second one is square. They will give you a more geometric look. Numerical just gives you Arabic numerals. And alphabet plus gives you a range of characters. This one is good for sort of a higher character count. If you increase this here, then you get an interesting shading with that setting. I'll dial the character count back down so the plugin is more responsive. Let's go back to round. Aspect ratio is good to adjust for fonts that may have slightly different proportions, but the default setting works fairly well for most fonts. Y position is useful to move the picture up and down. As you are adjusting the character count, you will notice that the picture may shift up and down a little bit as it snaps into its next position. So with Y, you can kind of dial it back in. And contrast is just a contrast adjustment. The positive will give you a positive picture. Normally this one is a little better with bold font. You, you sort of get a better looking picture. And the alias setting is, let's zoom in to see that a little better. If you go to 300%, see how the font is nice and smooth. If you check alias, then you get a really kind of a retro Amiga looking font go back to full size and the opacity control is only available in the edit page. It just allows you to dissolve back to the original image. Of course, all of these parameters can be keyframed. Computer vision can be freely combined with any other of the effects. So for example, let's drop CCTV on top. And let's now move to the Fusion page. I will delete the CCTV and the Computer Vision plugin on the Edit page. Click on the Fusion tab. And if you open Effects, let's search for Computer. There it is, Computer Vision. Drag and drop. And uh, as you can see, it's fully supporting alpha channels, so you can comp this over anything else. But for now, I will turn the checker underlay off the controls in the Fusion page are all identical to what you saw in the edit page, except for we don't have the fader control because you can easily do that in the Fusion flow. Using Computer Vision Fuse in the Fusion page gives you infinitely more possibilities than what you can do in the edit page. So for example, let's uh, uh, hit control space, load a background, maybe make it a blue background. Let's key Computer Vision over that. Maybe increase this a little bit. 
And let's throw in another effect like uh, rays, for example. You can see how you can very quickly start creating some fairly complex effects using this effect in Fusion Page. To get your Mac or Windows copy of the plugin, go to metify.com. It's completely free of charge. And I would love to see examples of your cool retro computer work that you create using this plugin because I kind of like this ASCII stuff. That's why I made this in the first place.